Let's start. This question reads, A six-month-old girl is brought in by her mother, who has noted a protruding abdomen, irritability, and recent inability to lift her head unassisted. Examination reveals a healthy-appearing girl with a distended abdomen and cervical lymphadenopathy. Fundoscopy reveals a cherry red macula. Which of the following is the best diagnosis? You can pause the video, read the question, answer it, then come back for the correct answer and explanation. Okay. So, the correct answer here is E. Sphingomyelinase deficiency. This child is presenting with Neiman Pick's disease. Characterized by irritability, regression of developmental milestones, hepatosplenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, and a cherry red macula. On the other hand, glucocerebrositis deficiency causes Gaucher disease, which is not associated with a cherry red macula. Hexasaminidase A deficiency is responsible for Tay-Sachs disease, which is similar to Neiman Pick's disease, down to the cherry red macula. However, Tay-Sachs disease does not feature hepatosplenomegaly or lymphadenopathy. Finally, iduronae 2 sulfatase and iduronidase deficiencies cause Hunter's and Hurler's syndromes, respectively and are characterized by facial coarsening. Hunter's syndrome commonly involves corneal clouding. However, neither involve a cherry red macula.